Hi friends, I'm Jeff Corwin, and welcome to a Wild for Alaska seafood adventure. We've just arrived to the beautiful capital city of Alaska, Juneau, and we've made our way here aboard Discovery Princess. Our amazing mission today is to better understand the story behind sustainably harvesting Alaskan seafood and how we make incredible dishes for our guests aboard ship. And my friends, our adventure begins with my good friend, Rudy Soderman, an amazing chef and head of culinary arts for Princess. So Rudy, are you excited today to get in my buddy Tyson's boat and to see what we can catch? Absolutely, I'm so excited to be here for the fresh catch here. For me, the most important is fresh and sustainable. When I think about Alaska, it's about fish, beautiful fish, big fish, uh, salmon, uh, halibut, and so forth, and beautiful mountains, nice people, and great adventures. The inspiration for Alaska is fresh seafood, local ingredients, and our guests love it. Do we have a catch? We're gonna find out. Ah, this one. Hey, two one, two big ones. All right. Hey, all right. Nice. There Look we go. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. So, Rudy, you've been all around the world, but have you ever done this before? No, the first time. I'm so excited. I see immediately a beautiful dish out of this. And Tyson, for you, does this ever get old? Do you still love it? Oh, absolutely. It can be hard, but it's so rewarding. I mean, when I get home, bone tired, uh, but I know I'm doing a good thing. I'm helping feed people like the best food they could possibly get. And then to get to work with you to elevate it just yeah. that extra bit and make sure people enjoy it, it means a lot to me. And we get to do it sustainably. We could do it in a way that we're gonna harvest, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna eat. You're gonna create a delicious meal back in the ship. Right now we're gonna partake of it, but we're gonna do it in a way that the next generation, your kids, when it's time for them to have their own fishing boats, they'll be able to do this successfully. This is what we're looking for right here. This is the classic celebrated Dungeness crab. How do we know if we can or cannot harvest this crab? We looked at that female that we already let go and we saw that this flap was much wider. This one's gonna be more narrow, so it's not holding all those of that clutch of eggs. And then what we're gonna do is we look at it by size. Between that little point and that little point, it's gotta be six and a half inches to be legal in Alaska. You know, plenty legal. So how important is it to keep these waters healthy and to connect everybody to this resource? It's, it's everything. You know, we fish today so that we have fish tomorrow. Whether that's crab or any of the other species, the main thing that we think about is the sustainability and, and returns. Now, of course, this is a recreational fisheries right now, or a subsistence fishery, but you've got some crab you got from the market. Does this moment inspire you to maybe do a crab dish for our fishermen when they come aboard and for the guests aboard ship? I'm sure I'm getting crazy with ideas. <laughs> so what can we do with the crab? I'll make a beautiful uh, uh, crab cake tonight. Oh, crab cake. With fresh scallions inside, let the natural flavors come out here. I think I've worked up quite an appetite. Just enough for lunch. All right. <laughs> we're cooking some crab, then we're going to reset the pot so I can do this again in a couple days. All right, awesome. All right. Let's see how it is. Unbelievable. Where else in the world can you hang out with a great friend, with a great chef? Minutes later, harvest the ultimate of freshest, sustainable seafood. Only in Alaska. Only in Alaska. Only in Alaska. Is this the San Juan, huh? Yes, it is. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> How important is the fishing industry? Yes, fishing is very important to Alaskans. It drives our economy. Most all of us spend our money here in this state, and so it's very important. Bonnie, our princess ships, they go around the world, but Alaska is a big priority for us. We will bring millions of people to this incredible state. It's probably really important for them to try wild Alaskan seafood, isn't it? Yes, it's the best. The seafood is the freshest it could possibly be. There is not one fish that's ever been on my boat that I wouldn't want to eat myself. I take a lot of pride in this resource that we have and because I'm extracting from it, it has to be sustainable. The quality is most important when you deliver the fish to the cold storage because that's how it's passed on to the consumer. And that quality is very important to me as well as my fellow fishermen. It really is about continuity and consistency. Yes, it is. Forrest, I don't think a lot of folks appreciate 
are really diverse when it comes to species. Mm -hmm. Salmon are here in Alaska. I mean, it's pretty remarkable. It is. There's five species of salmon, pinks, chums, coho, sockeye, and chinook. What they all share in common is that they need a vibrant and healthy wild Alaska to survive. Well, salmon, as you know, spawn in fresh water. So they return from the ocean, spawn in uh, these rivers that flow out of the rainforest. And those marshes are providing rearing habitat for salmon. So they're all interconnected. A beautiful day like this. Yeah. This is why people are coming, but they're also coming for Alaskan seafood. We'll have six ships dedicated to Alaska. And a lot of these folks are gonna be eating Dungeness crab, halibut, maybe some rockfish, and of course, salmon. Why should they look forward and participate in the fisheries as a consumer? Well, consumers should feel good about eating wild Alaska seafood because it's sustainable. And they should also feel good about purchasing that fish because of the financial contribution that provides to the economy in Alaska. John, explain what the word sustainability really means. What is the concept of a sustainable fisheries? A sustainable fishery really just means that this fishery is being harvested in a way that's repeatable, that we can keep using this resource year after year to get fish for the population. That sounds like an easy definition. The practicality of it is a lot more complicated. Absolutely. It's different than a farm where you're raising cattle or something like that. These are wild animals living in wild places. There's a lot of variables that go into not only their own health, but how healthy they interact with one another. And all of that plays against each other. You have petroleum, you have right. the timber industry, you have the tourism industry. A lot of this is interconnected. But the seafood business, sustainably, right. why is it so important? You have 62,000 jobs five and a half billion dollars annually. It's the largest employer in the, uh, private employer in the state, but it doesn't continue unless we manage it sustainably and have an eye for the future. What an epic day it's been. It's been all about this wild king salmon and this incredible halibut. So Rudy, what is your inspiration for this mission to present Alaskan seafood to our guests aboard ship. That's a good question. My inspiration is really to bring a wild Alaskan seafood on board Princess Cruises is here to have sustainable seafood on board ship that we know where the fish come from and also support the fishermen in whole Alaska that we know we're looking for quality items on board ship, which is so important for any good chef. It's really incredible to think that this fish hours ago was swimming in the wild Pacific waters, right near where our, our ship is docked. Well, you're doing a great job, you know that? Thank you. You've done it before. Right? I, a few times. Not too bad. Oh, beautiful. So we have our salmon cooking right here. What are we going to add to it? Well, very simple. We keep it very natural because it's so fresh. Normally, when you get a fresh fish from the water, all what you need is love and a little bit of salt. And what's missing? The salmon. Hello. Put it in the middle, so beautiful. Some fresh herbs, Giovanni. We sprinkle it, a little bit lemon butter. Look at this here. Beautiful. Isn't it beautiful for the color? Well, Rudy, that looks absolutely spectacular. I mean, that's incredible. But Rudy, we've got a table full of hungry fishermen. Can we get enough food? Yes, let's go. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So this is just so incredible to be at a table like this with the people that catch the food and the people that make the food. And, and cook the food. And then we all get to eat the food. <laughs> They're all different dishes, but what they all share in common is that they only could happen with Alaska yeah. and with the fishing community that connects this resource. Rudy, for you, what's it like to actually connect with the people that catch the resource, that bring the fish aboard? You know what, it's beautiful. You know, from a chef's heart to you guys, that whatever chef wants to connect where the food comes from. And there's nothing more beautiful as a wild chef to connect to the wild Alaskan seafood. Hello. <laughs> so as if for any chef out there to sit here would be a dream to talk to the fishermen, to talk to you. It's interesting you say that there's this big, big effort today to have this farm to table experience. Nothing matches Alaska when it comes directly from the environment to the table. Alaska can't be beat. So this was a great experience. So Rudy, thank you so much, sir, for preparing this incredible feast. The amazing culinary team aboard Discovery Princess. And thank you guys 
for catching it. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Huh? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.